Hey yo, it's me Harper Savage, and today we're still working on Inktober. Today's prompt is tail. Got my pencil and eraser today. I have an idea for what I want to do, but I'm not sure if it's gonna look how I want it to because of the the shape of the paper. There's like a truck outside. Don't mind that. Yeah, I'm just gonna get started with sketching. So what I really want is for that truck to go away. All right. So what my concept is is I want a centaur in the water and her tail like spread out across the top of the water and filled with like flowers and stuff a little bit inspired by fantasia not sure which one it was but it was the one i grew up with yeah like i want like the water level to be out there i think i might move her up some more like her head isn't really that important because it's the back of her anyways kind of draw basic shapes that way we can move the tail up and have more tail like the prompt. I was thinking about having her hands up like she was rinsing her hair, but maybe I want it to be like she just pulled her hair over so like her other hand could be here and like her other hand is on holding onto the front of her hair. If that makes sense. I'm not sure what angle the hand should be at is the only problem with this. I chose something complicated for no reason. I will just have her hand kind of hidden behind the shoulder there and we can pretend. <laughs> oh no, that looks weird i don't know if i want it like a straight line or like a i don't know we could have a waterfall or something i feel like it being that wide she would probably not sta be standing that close to it casually <laughs> maybe it's like a wide waterfall but it's like uh like not a thick waterfall if that makes sense so you can kind of still see the rocks through it i don't think too many pieces would be in front of her if the waterfall is, come is in front of her she'll be pushing all of it back but we're just gonna defy laws here. She is a centaur after all, who cares? Not a big deal. <laughs> the aerial argument all over again. And now I gotta decide what kind of floral bits I want. All right, I'm thinking about just doing a cherry blossom. Like I know it's kind of a cop out, but I don't have any other ideas. It's either that or roses. I don't want to get too detailed in something so small. So I'm gonna just kind of circle where I want them to be. I think I might actually practice drawing one first. They kind of just look like pond lilies like this, but I guess I don't really care. <laughs> Not the worst thing to look like that. And one more. Oh no, there's still one more, one more. Now it is time to ink. All right, I'm going to be using some black microns again. I'm not sold on the background still, but I don't really know what else to do. So I'll just ink the tail and keep thinking about it, I guess.
Maybe I'll get rid of the waterfall and just have like a rock background. Like maybe she's in a cave or something. Do I want to leave an opening? Where would it go to is my question. I kinda wish I had left a little bit more on this side. I mean, I didn't want the background to be like this. Oh well. I'll live with it. I guess. <laughs> I don't know, it kinda looks like um, a stone wall now. Like, an edge of a castle or something. With a hole or something. Well, it's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> Time to erase. I picked out all my markers. It's going to be a random assortment of like cheap ones like uh, Mondo Llama and Five Below ones and like leftover ones from a uh, colored by number kit. I'm going to start with lightest color, which I think is going to be her skin set.
All right, this is my drawing for Tail. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely like it. Um, there were a couple of mishaps, but I think it turned out pretty good. Despite that. Oh, well, well, that's a mishap right there. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to do all the cool YouTube things of comment, liking, and subscribing. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!